Look with me to 1 Corinthians, if you would, chapter 2 is where we're going to start. Only the Lord knows where we're going to end. <laughs> or when we're going to end. And I don't want to scare the new people off. It's all right. If you made it this far, you'll be fine. Praise the Lord. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Praise the Lord. And we're going to start with verse 1. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for guiding and directing us by your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. We thank you for unveiling the Lord Jesus to us, mighty Holy Ghost, with all your power and in all your glory this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to talk to you this morning about the power of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If we have a church service or a church with no power, we have a dead religion. And it's just that simple. There must be the element of power. Hallelujah. And the reason for that element of power is to testify or to witness the glory of God. Okay, you with me? Praise the Lord. So the reason for the power is to be a witness. Now, that's not to say we can't enjoy the power. We surely can. I mean, I enjoy walking in divine health. I enjoy the Lord's prosperity. I enjoy His power. But the real reason of His power is not for my in particular enjoyment as much as it is to be a witness to myself and to others of the glory of God. Amen. Are you okay with that? Amen. Now that's what he's talking about here in chapter 2 and again with verse 1 he says, When I came to you, brethren, I didn't come with fancy speech. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But I came declaring the testimony of God. I didn't come with uh, excellency of speech or man's wisdom to tell you the testimony of God. But I came to show you. I mean, I'm just paraphrasing this. Mm -hmm. For I determined, Paul is speaking here, I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus. That's the source of our power. And in crucifying. And then he shares about how that in his natural person he was in weakness and fear and trembling. And his speech and his preaching was not with uh, fancy words. Again, he says it. But it was in demonstration of the Holy Ghost and power. And the reason for that, verse 5, is that our faith would not be in Paul or a man or a denomination. Hallelujah. But in the power of God. Amen. 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 It, it, it would be a sad thing to just come and hear preaching and no change life. No power. Hallelujah. Thank you. The exhortation here is to get your eyes off of man and get them on God. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. It's a sad thing that whenever I go out witnessing, I ask people, are you saved? Are you born again? And they say, well, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Presbyterian. Well, 
didn't ask what church you, you attended. I asked, are you saved? Well, their obvious, uh, the, the response that they give when they say those things is that they're trusting in man. They're trusting in the denomination, in the uh, church, in the preacher, in other things, not God himself. And much of the reason for this is because, uh, sad to say, many of our churches have left out the power of God. They would probably be afraid if the power of God existed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If Bunny spoke in tongues and interpreted, in some churches they quickly escort her out. Right. Hallelujah. But that's a manifestation of the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, you see, it's easy for a natural man to put his faith in things he can see and touch and feel. And God knows that. Right? Amen. So God did not leave us alone or without a witness of himself. There's power in the gospel. Yes. Tremendous power. <clears throat> Not, not, not just uh, fancy words or educated men and women sharing their um, wisdom about uh, man's knowledge of the scriptures, but power. Say power. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. There is something in that word. Yes, it is. Power. Ooh, glory. So look at Matthew chapter 9. Now that we set the foundation here a little bit i got a lot of scriptures to go through. Um, I don't